Oh, hail everybody. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Indie Comics, Comics Gate, wherever you are. Facebook, X Twitter, Apex Comics here. Looks like my co host Rex is late. I don't know if he's going to come in or not. Oh, I gave him a link. Oh, man. What a week. What a crazy week we've had this past week. Oh, wow. So many things to talk about. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to talk about everything. But uh, first of all, I didn't know we were having a Rex Hex and Apex show. I never get, I never got my notifications. Well, I did the same morning, but I was out doing something else. I thought we had a show last weekend. I guess not. Time flies so fast, you guys, that you don't know what week it is. What <laughs> well, I, was, I did sleep under the radar, but uh. I figured that out like around one oh what was it one thirty in the afternoon. I had a, a message from from Hex on X Twitter. He said, "Hey, where you at? I'm at home. I thought there'd be a show, uh, you know, next weekend." I said, "No." I went, oh crap! So I missed it. Hey, all metal metal movies and brewskis. Oh, Matt, what's happening? Yes, uh, Rex. I don't know. Is he late? I did send him the link. Is he going to come on? Rex! Oh, anyway. I'm going to do a show by myself then. Let me see if he's not going to come in. No big deal. Anyway, uh, I guess as we all, most of us know, uh, unfortunately, there's a loss in the comic book community. Um, Ed Piscor passed, sadly passed away at the age of 41 on April 1st. It it was it was a big shock. He was too young to actually um, pass away that that quickly. I would say, you know, it he did he died for nothing really. He was just I don't know. It's it's this uh, cancel culture has really gotten way out of hand. It should be illegal. I think something should be done about that. I mean, what a talent he was. I happen to uh, actually have one of this his best works, in my opinion, All right over here. If I don't, hold on. Ah, oh, things dropped to the floor. Great. But yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed tonight. This is X Men Grand Design Marvel Treasury Edition. Really cool. I think this is one of Ed's best works. I don't have Hip Hop Family Tree. I was a big fan of cartoonist K Fabe. Ed Piscor, Jim Rugg. I mean, those guys, they know comics. People who are not familiar with comics, they watch the videos. They learn things pretty much every video, I, as I have. There, I've been in, in the comics thing for, gosh, since I was a kid just doing this. But, well, semi-professionally since 96, I published my first uh, comic, Executor slash Femme Fatale flipbook. I've shown this on my live streams before but this is actually pretty cool i uh, get, get all these covers from x-men past really nice uh collected edition i mean this guy does it all he pencils he writes pencils inks letters even color sometimes i was on a cord but yeah this is crazy episode one very nice <clears throat> so yeah, just some of this is Art Adam stuff, especially this right here. <clears throat> this is all Ed on the interior pages. Really cool, really fascinating work. He has a bit of a Robert Crumb style, in my opinion. If Robert Crumb had a nephew, it'd be Ed Piscor. So really cool work. He adds the whites in a lot of his. Drawings. He likes to keep it more. <clears throat> um, the background's more of a, like a like a newsprint type of color background. But we insert the whites. You can see the whites on this. It's really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pick up red. Oh, yeah, I've got red room. Pretty much, man. Yeah, Robert Crumb was awesome. He lives in France. Well, I can't blame him because France has a good open market for comics. They're more, they're more respected in Europe than they are in the United States. And, of course, Japan, they respect their comics more than they do 
America. I think we should be on top with our comics. I think comics is a is an art form like like any other. It's communication. You're telling stories, you know. And I think artists should be respected, you know, a lot more than you know lawyers or maybe they should be up there with the doctors. You know, doctors are pretty important. Comic book creators tell stories in any type of genre, any form. Really cool. But uh, yeah, Red Room is pretty cool too. I want to show more of a lighter side of Ed Piscor. I mean, Red Room is very dark and bloody. And I was like, wow. You, once you read those, you probably end up going insane or something. But no, nah, I'm, I'm just joshing. But anyway, uh, rest in peace, Ed Piscor. Uh, God be with you. And uh but his, his work will live on. And of course, Cartoonist Kayfabe videos will live on as well. There's thousands and thousands of those videos you can enjoy at your own perusing. Ah, oh, man. Mel says, that's why I want to move to those. No kidding, man. Well, what can America, what can we be? We could be respected here if we try. I mean, I understand the current, current modern uh, comic book industry full of weirdos and far left activists who probably can't even do comics well they don't have a passion for it but i could go on about that <laughs> uh you know i'm out at settle down or you two might you know kick me out or something don't want that happening man hell no but anyway am i gonna have a co-host tonight maybe not i'll just be jamming you know jabbering with you guys um let me go and put let me go find my show on um uh, YouTube so I can get to it. Uh, pin a message and stuff like that. That will be a fun thing to do. Saturday night, people. What are you guys watching? I know there's a lot of stuff on YouTube. I'll watch. You got the Final Four games, basketball, and stuff like that. Oh, of course, EVS has trash cast. 46. <laughs> he has that every day. Isn't that crazy? But, yeah. Uh, don't need to go on there. Nah, nah, you don't, you don't need to do that. Just stay right here, folks. If you would, please share, uh, like, subscribe if you haven't already. You know, ah, uh, get my volume off here. Alrighty then, let me see if I can find the, uh, oh, here we go. Do this here. I have a April special... Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me go ahead and uh, click on that. Where's the copy, man? Where's the copy? Yeah, here we go. And I hope this works out okay. And I'll pin a message. I'm going to pin a message to the chat. Um, hold on. I'm doing something wrong here. Give me a moment. All right, here we go. Let me... Um, uh yeah marlon perkins wall kingdom now i think that was the uh intro to that particular program mutual of our Mahal's wild kingdom uh no i don't want to put myself in time out what the hell am i doing um na, 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 na. yeah folks there's a special fembat the creep preview ashcan and a matamax preview for 12 bucks 12 dollars Postage paid. I'll show you what they look like. Uh, I have them out somewhere. Where will I put them? Always, uh, that gun. Ah, oh, here they are. Give me one moment. I'll be right back. Let's see. Okay. Here it is. Uh, where is my camera? You're at. Yes, we got the the creep finbat preview here. Got a good twenty pages. Includes a fold out, six pages of finbat, six pages of the creep for uh if it's part of the twelve dollars you'll be spending, you know. You got the creep, there's get inserts here, you get the story, yeah, pretty cool. Plus, you get a Matamax preview. Matamax, Super Agent 
from the 1940s, World War II, Woman of a Thousand Faces. I've been wanting to get Paul Gulacy to do a cover for the Madame X special coming up. But yeah, this is, uh, take that off. Yeah. This is a good, uh, how many pages do I have here? I think I've got a good, oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, good. Eleven pages of story. Yeah, it starts off. You know, I don't waste space on these. This is a preview, Ashcan. Two of these for twelve dollars, and of course, here it is in the description right here. Bam! I'm gonna pin this in the chat. Uh, get me in here. What is it? There we go. Pin the message. Bang! It's pinned. Nice. Very cool. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, oh, all right. I'm highlighting here. All right, let's see what uh, metal I say later, brother. Gotta take these kids out to dinner. All right, man. Well, thanks for dropping by. Thank you. Cool. And three people watching. Wow, I wonder who those three people are. Hmm, you guys, come on in the chat if you want. Uh, go ahead and go and hang out. So I got that Ashcan special here, twelve dollars, two Ashcans, postage paid, pretty cool. Also, oh, oh what is my screen doing? <laughs> oh boy, let's see here. I've been working uh, the past week on the fifty years of Wolverine. I have a also a poster. To sell as well, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Here's a black and white version of this. Pretty nice. I've been showing some of this on some live streams recently. Starts out, of course, Weapon X. There he's going all out. I've I paid homage to you like Barry Windsor Smith, Dave Cockrum, Herb Trimpey, Simone, Simone Bianchi, uh, Sorrento, uh, some a little bit of burn here and there. But yeah, this is all freehand. I penciled and inked it. And I have a sale for these. I'll let you know as I you know, finish promoting. I do have some color versions as well. I've been spending time doing some colors. I have this one right here. This includes the brown uniform Wolverine. Some may like it, some may not. But... There it is in full color masterpiece of my, uh, of my own two hands. I also have another color piece right here. This is one's the yellow uniform right here. So he's slashing at you. A little bit of a variation on the color. A little bit of a purple background on the Weapon X side. It hulks a little bit more, more of his true green color there than the previous color poster. So, yeah, I'm going to put the links in there in the chat. I also had a little, I made up a little, little mini, flexible little mini copies here. That's kind of fun. But uh, I may have these for sale, too, if you guys want some. I'll, I'll charge less for the smaller ones, of course. But go ahead, and uh, I'll go and put it in the chat here. Oh, hey, it's Carrie. What's going on? Thank you for coming in. Eric in board yellow. Hey, hey. She goes, hey, Apex. Hey, yellow. Hey, hey there, Carrie. Yeah, thanks for coming in, guys. I don't know what happened to Rex. Maybe he's on another stream. Streaming is like cocaine to Rex, I guess. It, that's his drugs, live streaming. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put some of these uh, posters here in the chat. Bang, bang. There you go. I'm over here shilling a little bit. I've got, I got to pay some property tax. So yeah, I have every right to show. Why not? You know, can't hurt. There's the, I got the poster link right here. Bang. You guys want a 50 years of Wolverine? Here's the link for that. 50 years of Wolverine poster, black and white for 20 or a full color poster for thirty dollars, limited quantities of twenty each, and they're postage paid. By the way, 
This pays for postage, you know, shipping, what have you. Please insert your shipping address too. And there's the link there, my PayPal address. Uh, feel free to get get one or two, whatever you want. Makes great, uh, a good birthday, a Christmas gift, uh, an IRS, a tax gift, however you want to put it. So there you go. Yeah. Shill, shill, shill. Yes. Why not? We all we all have to pay bills. Amen. Definitely. I'm gonna do some unboxings, guys. Let's do. I apologize if you guys came in, not being on Rex Hex and Apex. I didn't know we we're gonna have an a Rex Hex Apex show. I guess I completely forgot, and I just like had a brain fart. And I didn't know. <laughs> It was this big surprise. I didn't get a heads up this week for anything. So next time, if we're going to have another Rex Hex Apex show, we should have alerts, I guess, throughout the week. That way we can like plan on it and not have it feel like it's it's on the last, oh boy, last minute here. Wait, where are you? I'm like, oh, am I supposed to be live? Oh, okay. This is uh, from Thrift Books, largest online news bookstore. This is one of my... One of my favorite movies from the 60s. I think this is pretty cool. Oh, wow. This is uh, Our Man Flint with James Coburn. Yes, In Like Flint. Our Man Flint. There's, there's a sequel, in, in Like Flint, from like 1968. This came out in 66. This propelled the career of James Coburn. Uh, I don't know if you guys... I bet this has been on Tubi before, but I want to get a physical copy of... Our man Flint. Nice, nice little poster design. Really awesome. I'm digging it. Yep. Our man Flint. I they also gave me a special gift hundred dollar wine voucher. So maybe I could get drunk on wine and watch our man Flint. That'll be fun. Really cool, man. Eric says, I knew it was gonna be a Flint movie before, <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> I think I may have mentioned it before, Eric, right? I, I, I can't remember if I did. I, I might. I think Horror Mike may have mentioned it. But, yeah. Ah, yes. Iron Man Flint. I, uh, one of these days, I want to get, like, a big screen TV, like, set on this wall up here and watch some movies, maybe some YouTube live streams. Who knows? Hey, Tim, he goes, what up? Well, Let's see. Our man Flint, that's what's up. Yeah. Among other things. What is all this sheet about wine? Oh, I got a wine voucher. Uh, yeah, this is my wine voucher. And with my Our Man Flint package, I got a wine voucher so I can vouch for some wine and maybe watch some movies. Kind of relax for a, a little bit. So I've been working. Working. What kind of show is this? It's Apex After Dark. That's what you're watching. I'm not sure when, but you started describing it as I was thinking early. <laughs> I like those Flint. I know, man. They're fun. He's like more intelligent than James Bond, in my opinion. Drink a beer. Be a man. Yeah, well, I, I've drunk some beer. Not today, but I hardly ever drink now since I'm older. But, yeah, I like both beer and wine. I like mixed drinks. I like bourbon. I like uh, a little whiskey. I like a uh, little bit of vodka, a little tequila. Depends. Depends, depends, man. So, yeah. Here we go. Oh, you got a link here. Tim, you want to come in if you want? Or Eric, whoever, you guys. Uh, Carrie, whoever. I'll go throw in a link in the chat. Just... Because Rex doesn't want to come on. Oh, well. His loss. There we go. Here's the stream you're going to leak, Tim, if you want to come in. Promote some Melvin. Melvin! If you want to come on in. That'll be fun. I'm not going to be streaming. Maybe an hour, roughly. Roughly. Yes, yes, yes. Gosh, Saturday night, Saturday night. Ooh, do, 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 do. So yes, I have some Wolverine. This is the 50 year, 50th anniversary Wolverine poster. I've seen some of these Marvel um, covers for Wolverine. The variant covers they're doing. 
all this month and this year of Wolverine. But no one has done anything like this, like a big homage from all these creator, influence creators over the years that I've been reading and enjoying. And this is the color version of the color for like 30. And here's the black and white print right here. Black and white. If you want a glorious black and white, that's $20 for that. So the post is paid, by the way. Just send me your shipping address. Make sure you have your shipping address uh, in there. So I know where to mail it to if you guys want. Yes. Okay. Cool, cool. Eric says, thanks for your invite. Very, very windy this evening. Perhaps sometime soon. Yeah, no problem. Cool. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah. It's fun. Our Mike show was pretty fun last night. I was catching the live stream on his. Really cool. He's got some stuff. Tam, you want to come in if you want? Uh, or not. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? Since Rex, Rex doesn't want to show up. I guess maybe this is Rex's revenge for me not showing up on Rex, Hex, and Apex, which I didn't know we had a show this weekend. So my bad on that, guys. Uh so we got, there he is. Here I am. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Apex? Uh, hanging in there, man. Hold on a sec. I think I think my dog's kind of scratching at the door. Is that dog scratching at the door? Is that women going to come on in there, Timothy? I don't know. Here we go. Yeah, I see. I came in late and horror mic stream last night. Agreed. It was really good. Yeah. Watch it on the rewatch there, horror mic. Lots of Tubi movies they presented. You had to search for these titles on Tubi to find what you want. And he did the service of doing that for us. I wrote notes. Uh I don't know where I put So it. you got you got a movie in the you got a movie in the mail or something? Yeah, our man Flint. Now, I've heard of that, but I've never seen it. It's great. It, it's oh, uh, I, I, <laughs> for a second there, it was, it was my show. I was going to totally take it from you. <laughs> yeah, James Coburn's uh, first uh, starring movie role. James Coburn's been in some westerns and you know TV and movies and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it's his very first big role, Our Man Flint from 1966. I feel I'll, like a cartoon's been inspired by that. It's kind of kind of a Austin cartoon? Powers. Austin Powers, Man of Mystery. Oh. Inspired okay. by this movie right here, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say Archer. There's a cartoon that, that kind of reminds that too. Of that too. I think so. Yeah, hmm. definitely. Yeah, it's a yeah. fun movie, man. It's it's I'm like damn, watch we, that. It's really cool. I've got oh oh something fell out. Oh, it's a oh. little program thing. Oh, swinging movies, groovy offer. That's funny. Let's see what all oh, these fun DVDs, little inserts like that. There you go. Back in the '60s, yo. Yeah, so a time uh, period before I was born. I know, right? <laughs> I was born in '63, so yeah. '63, dude. You don't look like your your age. Thank you. I hope I can won't hit the wall. I'll hit the wall one of these days. Oh, it'll happen. <laughs> it'll happen Ships to everybody. Flying. Yeah. Oh, cool. You get a selection of DVDs. You. Oh, you get. Uh, oh, you get Modesty Blaze. Modesty Blaze had a movie from the '60s. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, Mossy Blaze and Fathom. Isn't that like uh, Michael Turner's creation, Fathom? I have no idea. I've never heard of any of those Ra films. Raquel Welch, Tony Francioso, and Fathom. Oh, that's cool. Mossy Blaze. I don't know who's that. And you know what's really fun? It's funny finding one of those like forgotten horror movies. Oh, no, man. I love them. It's like, wow, I didn't know they made this. And you just watch it like, oh, that's pretty cool, you know? There was a uh, '60s horror movie. I think it kind of uh, spawned the whole. Uh, I think uh, maybe it's kind of spawned the whole like slasher kind of thing. But uh, it was Blood Feast. Oh, Blood Blood Feast. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Don't forget the Matt Helm movies. Yeah, Matt Helm. Yeah, Dean Martin. Have you seen those Matt Helm movies? No, no, no. no. Oh, you, oh, they're great. They're, they're very, very tongue in cheek. <laughs> uh, really, really. Matt Helm is the poor James Bond, pretty much. <laughs> He's mm -hmm. an American secret agent. So yeah, Fizzfoff, yeah, man. I uh, don't know why uh, Mossy Blaze hasn't been resurrected. I know, right? I've heard of, I'm, it's she's been in a comic strip 
uh, like years ago. I didn't know they made a 60s movie from that. That's, that's, that is pretty cool, man. Yeah, what's up, Eric? I know Monty Blaze was a well done comic strip. Didn't know there was a movie. Yeah, same here. See all these lost vaults of the sixties. Well, movies. there there have been movie adaptions to comic books. We 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 did like uh I didn't know they did one of Vampirella. Did they do a movie on Vampirella? Yes, it was. It's a really bad movie, but yeah, they did one. Oh, what what decade was it? The nineties. Nineties? Oh no! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like I saw. I see the review on it. It's awful. It's uh, not awful. Well, who's the actress? You know. I'm. I, hold on. Let me. Um. Let me Google that, and I'll, I'll let you I, know. I think uh, Julie Strain would have been a great Vampirella. You know, back in the nineties. But yeah, she has acting. Well, she had acting experience. She's no longer with us. Uh yeah. Um, former wife of Kevin Eastman, by the way. Julie Strain. There you go, man. Chilling like a villain and watching all Apex. Yep, watching all Apex. Yeah, man. Says the 60s Monty Blaze movie is an Italian film of oh really? It's from Italy. Nice. And a little bit of style and pizzazz. A little pizzazz. I'm about to I, order I think Marcy it's Blaze. um it's uh Talisa Soto. I'm, I'm, and it came oh. out in, it came out in ninety six. Really, my, okay. my freshman year in high school. Came How out. about that? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but apparently it's a bad movie. Too bad. So sad. Well, I hope if they do remake it, I hope it'll be a lot better than the previous movie. Well, they've never revisited the property since. Yeah, I think it it could it could work if you do it well, if you have enough passion behind it, behind the project, and focus. Do it like the comics. Just read a lot of Warren publications from the. Oh yeah! Oh, guess what? Tepish. Guess what? Yeah. It had Robert Daltrey as a uh, Vlad Tepish. Roger Daltrey. <laughs> yeah, I remember from the that. Hoop. Yeah, from the hoop. Nice, yeah. Roger Daltrey. Cool. <laughs> Chewing the scenery. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually a decent actor, by the way. He's he's been in a few movies here and there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, you know, we will never get a Vampirella movie during current environment. Yeah, I know. Well, it has Probably to be most, outside, like, most likely not. Outside Hollywood, then, you know. Yeah. It just, like, just like it would be awesome if, if uh, Image Comic Books had kept their shit together, they could have been a, a cybernary movie. That would have been they, awesome. That would have been great. Julia Strain would have been great in that. Cybernary? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, man. Julia Strain. God rest her soul. I wish she was still around, but no. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Eric Boyd, uh, I doubt that will ever be made. Well, you ne yeah. never say never, guys. <laughs> but, uh, yes, because that can, it, they'll say, oh, I'll put a fire under my ass and uh, try to get a Vampirella, a Vampirella movie out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Have you been watching Have you been watching the remake of the uh, Shogun miniseries? No, no, I have not. Oh, it's actually really good. I actually like it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Vampirilla, my pronouns are <laughs> no, there will be no pronouns. <laughs> Against that. Stupid. Stop stop with your microaggressions. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, microaggressions, I know, man. Ah. So what's your uh are you uh, have you watched Cartoonist K Fabe? I have heard of it. It's really good. It's a good YouTube channel. That's uh, Egg Piscor and Jim Ruggs' uh, baby, but uh, yeah, this I was, a, I was actually a fan of their of their show. So, yeah, yeah, I heard, I've heard, I've heard the tragedy that is how his life ended. Yeah, it's awful. I mean, it should never happen to anybody. Cancel culture has to be stopped. Yeah. I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. If you're jealous of something, well, try to try to make a good product yourself. Stop yeah. being jealous and hating on people. You know, life is better than that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I just I don't know. The whole story is just bizarre. Yeah, it was very bizarre. Yeah, but uh, you know, he has his. Uh, I got. I don't know if you've seen this or not. The X Men Grand Design. This is a Treasury Edition, the Second oh. Genesis. Inside it has all the X Men covers here. It's really nice. It's got some. Uh, a little intro, second Genesis, and has a 
episode one, very episodic. He uh, he covers like several years of X Men comics in, in about uh, forty plus pages. Really? Yeah, it's really unique. But I got like the treasure edition. This is like from the uh, X Men. John says X Men number one and on and onward. Yeah. Pretty cool. His art reminds me a lot of Robert of uh, Robert Crumb. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Good influence. You know what they should really go through again is the um, the Mer Island saga. The what saga? The Mer Island saga. It was the um, the event they did before they kind of relaunched X Men in the beginning of the nineties. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. was a good. That was a good one. That was good. Yeah, let's see what the chat says. Piss cars attackers are very pissed at his success. Well, if they're pissed, won't they succeed? You know, it kind of. Sorry. Yeah, making a Eric says making something on your own requires effort and work. Qualities these twat waffles are not familiar with it anyway. Yeah, true, true. Hey, Shadowhawk, how you doing? Yeah, it it yeah. seems like it seems like these people took advantage of him making a mistake, and then they they ruined him with it. Did it's stupid. It's really insane. They should be held liable for that. Yep. They need to go to prison, you know, learn their lesson. And they, definitely. So I guess the lesson is be careful of the choices you make and the words you say on the internet. It will come back to haunt you if you're not careful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she, well, he hung out with uh, Comic Book Girl 19, which they say that she's conservative. She's far, she's far from the conservatives, you know, if you. You want my opinion? I'm, I mean, I, I never thought she was, <laughs> and then right, and I'm like, I haven't, even, I haven't seen her shows in like you know, in years. But uh, I'm at the. I, like, I don't even know who she is, really, to be honest with you. Danica, she her real name's Danica, and she goes by uh, CBG19 or Comic Book Girl. 19. Oh, she's why does that sound familiar? She's been on YouTube for like, you know, about no. almost ten years. I'm thinking. Hmm. Yeah, cool channel. Yeah, man. So, what's going on with you? Uh, have I? I know I've put in an order for Melvin. Um, or or was I imagining things? Was it? Was it the? Was it the special editions? I think it was like um, one and two. Oh, was it for the? Was it from the camp? Was it from the yes, campaign? Yes, from the campaign. I'm going to be ordering uh, more of those, in fact, uh, because of the whole uh, King incident. Kind oh, of. Yeah. Kind of halted the brakes while I replaced page while me and Rob replaced pages and such. Wow! Now I haven't seen any of Comic Book Girl nineteen art. I didn't know she draws. I heard she writes, but yeah, yeah. yeah so, so the, the the pages, all the all the all Vic's all Vic's pages are no longer in Melvin. Right, I get it. They've all been replaced. Um, I'm gonna be ordering some from uh, from. Uh, Critical blasts, so I can send those in, instead of the uh, the original versions. All right. Okay. So I can wait on that. That's fine. Yeah, I don't want to give you guys st stuff with his stink in it. So that's it. Is crazy. It, it's weird looking back on his videos, the way he's drawing drawing his uh, pictures. You see these big ass meaty hands. I'm like, like oh, yeah. meaty hands on a kid. I'm like gross. Like ah, yeah, it turns my stomach. It's crazy. Yeah, he didn't take time on anything. He just kind of like like half-assed everything he did. Yeah, it yeah. shows because he didn't bother to erase his pencil lines. Yeah, and me being naive when I hired him for Melvin too, I didn't even notice until uh, oh. you know, my my homeboy Andy. You know, he said, "Hey Tim, I need you to look at this." And he, he sent out a link, and he said, oh, "Wow!" He showed me every single page he did and all the mistakes. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at like a line not complete. Pencil oh. mark here, yeah. And then once you see it, you cannot unsee it. So every time I look at his artwork, I see all the mistakes. Oh yeah, to be a, a hired on artist, you have to get have your act together, yeah. very much. So you do, yeah. yeah. Stay and on then, top of things. And then on top of that, he he, he wasn't who he said he was. So I uh, know, and that weird. You know, he could have legally changed his name if he wanted to. Well, he he went under an alias that so nobody would find out. And somebody yeah. went well, and found out. Found out. <laughs> <laughs> Appar Try apparently, not. he wasn't too smart to cover his tracks. No, no, he wasn't. I'm yeah. glad it, it all came out, but unfortunately, I'm yeah. sad that it happened anyway. 
that was a strange Monday morning, and it'll, it'll stick for, for me with me forever. You know, uh, yeah. I, I was, literally. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I literally woke up, and that's the first thing I saw, and I was like, "No, no." And then, uh, so next thing I know, I like I didn't even hesitate. I said, "Hey, Rob, we're replacing pages." <laughs> oh yeah, my oh my! Yeah. I first discovered it. I was on my live stream. I had my uh, Frank Sinatra fedora on with my pajamas. Yeah, so, and then Fanta came on in the chat. And he says, oh, "Something terrible has happened." I'm like, "What, Fanta? What's going on? Somebody die? What what happened?" And then he goes, uh, "Vic has been." Uh, has, has been Out accused kid? of uh, yeah, it's been outed as a as a pedophile. I'm like, what? Are you serious? I was in shock when that happened. I was like, whoa, yuck. Mm. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. He disappeared with the quickness. Like I knew he would. I I knew it. Yeah. I, I knew he would disappear because he said he'd disappear. <laughs> he sure did. Why well, living at his brother's house or something, and you know, mm. keeping his head low. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good thing. Yeah, don't want to be ousted like that. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, so who's going to do the pages for I think? Uh, was it Rob Ewing or somebody? Rob Ewing replaced uh, the cover, um, and like 12 or so pages of Melvin 2. Nice, and then Melvin 1 was an easy fix. We just got rid of the cover, went with the Dillard cover. I can only find the colored file, so it's in color. Okay, cool. Um, and we just instead of like the only the, then I noticed that the credit page was like the uh, black and white pencil version of the original cover. I'm like, oh, we got to replace that. So yeah. So now it's just a blue. Owen one's just a blue credit page. Okay. Yeah. It <laughs> works. So <laughs> that's cool, man. Yeah. If you need any uh, art, you know, go ahead and uh, you know DM me on X Twitter if you want and. Uh... I wouldn't mind providing a cover one of these days. Yeah, uh, as you can see, um, I re my avatar is the the finished cover from Melvin Four. Oh, cool! Let me see that. Oh, yeah, blow it up! There it is. Oh, nice. Drawn and drawn by Sid Tellis, and I, and I think it's colored by uh, it's colored by uh, Carol. Carol colors, nice. I'm oh, yeah, color. she's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna hire her to color Fembat. You should oh, totally do that. I definitely will. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by really? the way, why not a trailer? Let me go ahead and uh, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, do this. Go to a little commercial here, guys. Very very short commercial. Commercial break, folks. All right, here we go. And. Not really on Indiegogo. I'm playing on Fun My Comic on this one. I love how 60s that artwork seems. <laughs> I know. That is, so, that is so retro. It's beyond retro. I know, right? As Eric says, Kara has been doing a great job with colors. Absolutely. Her work looks real good for reals. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I, uh, I do a lot of my colors and markers, but I like to have a... I mean, her stuff looks like she would actually... I mean, looking at your cover there, it looks like someone did them with like markers and it looks really bright and, and balanced. And, uh, oh, yeah. Really, it has a nice punch to it. So, yeah. Look at the, look at the sky, too. It, it really gives off that uh, yeah. kind of stormy looking kind of. That is cool. I think she would rock on Fembat. Yeah. Apparently, Gable wants you to kick me twice. <laughs> What's up, Gable? Ah, uh, kick ten to kick, <laughs> kick, kick. Ouch! I must, I must hurt. Oh. He, he's he's so jealous of me. I don't know why. Oh my God, Gable! You're it, it, it must be my charisma. He, he he's jealous Maybe. of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Gable's got charisma, right? Penny shot. You got some charisma. 
You don't have to be jealous. That's okay. Eat peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Here's the gay, <laughs> cable penny. Get it. Gable penny kicker. <laughs> Kicks you while you're down. All right. Ouch. That hurts. Damn it. Arg. We are 41 minutes so far. But yep. ba 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 ba. So uh, uh Rex did is first, his first official campaign. I mean, yeah, he did that Ash Camp, but this is his first full length comic book. He did pretty good. Yeah, he did over three K, three point one K. Three K, god damn! I moved him over the three K hump. By the way, I, I purchased. Oh, it. you're the uh, one yes. responsible. Yes, I had to do it the last minute, guys. We're this is our last day, our last chance campaign. I'm like, oh shit, I better get a copy. So I bought a copy, Dillard yeah, cover. Yeah. I want to get a sketch cover, a blank cover, too. Oh yeah. yeah, so you can do like a double flyer. Yeah, I want to do double flyer like a wraparound cover. Look. Aren't you going to do a crossover with him? Yes. Uh, after Fembat uh, campaign, no. we, Rex and I plan doing a Fembat versus Devil Flyer crossover. Over. A crossover. Yes, Carol is cool. Don't tell her that's it. <laughs> we won't. How much are you going to pay me to keep quiet? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I sold a few stuff on like eBay for a friend of mine. I'm helping pay his property tax. He's in a nursing home. Oh, shit. Unable to work. And I'm like, so I'm kind of helping out trying to do that. That's why I'm kind of, I'm selling my, my Wolverine posters and my, my ash cans. I got an ash can special, Tim, in case you didn't know. What? I've got a. There you go. You get the creep and Fembat uh, preview ash can. Really cool there. Good That's you God, get. man. You get the Madam X preview, the uh, super agent of a thousand faces during World War II, assigned to kill Adolf Hitler. I do want to hire Paul Gulacy. I did this back in like '98. This this preview. '98. And I, of course, one of my mini comics. I've got uh, Fembat. In her first adventure, I was a junior in '98. <laughs> yeah, no, she's appeared in that. So yeah, two for twelve dollars. It's in the link. It's in the uh, the link is in the uh, the little pin message there. Two for twelve for that. You ever thought about doing little events where you can just or you just go around and kind of just hand them out or sell them for maybe a buck or two? Eventually, I will once I get enough copies made that really cheap. Yeah, you know, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. extortion you bastard it's like, i'm getting all those goodies Ooh, yeah man we have to keep pulling carol's pigtail <laughs> that's extortion you bastard. <laughs> oh she loves it when we pull her pigtails i know I mean. so, guys stop i'll keep pulling them all right cool you dig it yeah. i didn't say that up and down they this, that, that was digitally put in i never said that <laughs> also um I'm also selling uh, some posters. I've got a got a Wolverine, 50 year Wolverine, uh, 50 years of Wolverine poster right here. It starts out, of course, with Weapon X. Then you got the X Men appearance. Of course, the Incredible Hulk 1A1 appearance, and of course, you get the uh, the the uh, Wolverine mini series, and of course. Uh, you get Wolf, you know, Logan, Patch, and Old Man Logan right there. Oh, you know, you know, 50 years of Wolverine, basically, in a nutshell. 50 years, yep. Yeah. This got for $20 postage paid. The link's in the chat and also in the description. And Best story arc ever in Wolverine, Blood and Claws. Oh, shit. Look claws. at that. Yeah, there's a color version. Yeah, get that for 30 have you seen have you seen one of the covers for that for that story arc? It's literally Wolverine with like a submachine gun, knee deep in bullets. Oh, and he's wow. smoking and he's smoking a stogie. I mean, how what do you more do you That's want? That's a cover right there, man. Yes, that That's is my a... favorite Wolverine cover. Oh wow. What is she is that like a miniseries, Blood and Claws, or was it No, a... that was just a three issue um story arc in the series. Is it for the first volume or second Wolverine volume? First. First? Okay, cool. It's during the Mark Silvestri. Uh, oh, uh, nice. I think I may have one of those issues. It's it's really it's a good one. It's um, Wolverine and Puck get sent back in time by Spiral, and uh, they end oh, wow. up in the Spanish Civil War. 
Oh, okay. So it's like Wolverine killing Nazis and stuff. Oh, shoot. I might have to pick that up. Because I guess the Nazis were helping the, the Spanish or something. Could have been. Yeah. That's a cool story. Sounds like a cool story. Yep. I, like the, I like the World War II stuff, man. It's fun. Or like when he's in Madripoor as Patch, you know, all it is is him with a patch over his eye. Yeah. Great yeah. disguise there. <laughs> Like, uh, yeah, sure. Like Clark, Clint, uh, Clark Kent with glasses. Like, hey, there's Patch. Hey, look at that. Yeah. There he is. Incognito. They'll never recognize me with a patch over my eye. Never. No. <laughs> no, not with the claws and everything. No, I'm not Wolverine. Who's that punk? Who's, who's Wolverine? Yeah, I'm Patch. I'm Patch. Can't you tell? I got a patch on my eye. Yeah, I'm Patch, damn it. Mm. I think the, um, was it Wolverine number 22 where he was fighting uh, the Yakuza in this bar? Yeah, I think so. And they shot him up, and this is my favorite scene in all the Wolverine ones. He's like, they think he's dead, and he's like just underneath a bar or something. And they're look, one of the guys is looking over, and he thinks he's dead, and the claws just shoot through the bar top right through the guy. Oh wow! And I was like, dude, dude, that's that how to make comics, man. That's how you make comics. That oh, dude God. just got got. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was. Um. I think the villains in it were uh, these. Uh, they took this drug that made them like they don't feel pain. Oh. Okay. Like, they had like a tattoo that like linked together as like a dragon or something. And they're just like, they're trying to, they're just attacking him and he's stabbing them, but they don't feel anything because they're all, they're all hyped up on this drug. <laughs> Eric says, no one will recognize a five foot three her suit muscular dude with claws because of the patch. No, uh-uh. <laughs> this wacky hairstyle will never be noticeable. Oh, of course not. Just a patch. It's kind of totally like the joke. Guys. It's kind of like the joke about Superman, like taking off his glasses and no one can yeah. recognize him. Yeah, right. That's not Clark Kent. Be Clark Kent. Uh, well, he puts him on. Oh, that's Clark Kent. No, Superman doesn't wear glasses. Clark Kent can never be Superman. Superman oh, no. I... Three walls. <laughs> <laughs> he has heat ray vision. No way he wears glasses. Oh, Pete Holmes did one made fun of that, too. Like, he did, like, a, was a Batman. Superman wants to team up with Batman because Batman has a better image than he does. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, oh, Hope starts with an H, stupid. <laughs> and he fl- the part uh, my favorite part is he flips him off and he goes, he flips him off and he goes, what does this mean on your planet? Gratitude. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's good. Oh, was I picked- really a super- was that a world finest story? Or was that just uh, a bootleg? From was that a movie? Oh, that the one you just described. The thing about soups is he can super vibrate his body and make. You know, I'm sorry, I just don't buy that as a, as an excuse of why people can't Same recognize him. Soup, so he can super vibrate his body and make his face unrecognizable. I think that was one next wish. Okay, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't don't sit on me, Lois. I'm super vibrating. Yes, we can do that at home, Lois. You'll enjoy it. The G forces will rip you to pieces. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why I think Superman can't really have a normal girlfriend or wife. She has to be at least Wonder Woman level, you know, to take all that punishment. It has to be a Kryptonian womb to be able to carry that baby. I think so. <laughs> yeah, at least Kryptonian. They all died out, or did they? Hmm. Oh, that was another funny part about that skit. He goes, I'm glad they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wow. What was that a sketch comedy thing they, they did? On- Pete Holmes. He did. Um, Pete Holmes. All right. He did so, like, uh, he did Batman where, he, where like, uh, I think there was one where it was like a, the Riddler was riddling him. And all oh. I could say was helicopters. <laughs> Or they go through why he has why he has such a gravelly voice, and it's because he did all these different other voices, and his voice just went out. Oh, is is he on YouTube or something? Or yeah, he's on YouTube. Um, I think he did oh. one where he he did a, uh, I think he, his show he did one where he was Charles Xavier firing all the X Men. Really? <laughs> he said he told Wolverine. He said I, I'd kill you with my mind, but I feel like I'd be killing a special needs member of a cat of the cast of Footloose. You gonna go beat up some nerds? <laughs> he is called this a, live action or is it just live uh, action? Live action. Yeah, he, really? he 
Yeah, he 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 fits the role well. He's um nice. Oh crap! They also try glasses were made out of a special glass from the Kryptonian baby buggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never knew that. Oh no, shit! That's crazy. I like I like I think he he insulted uh, uh Jubilee and said that he looked like the, the creepiest pervert's love doll. Special order. <laughs> He even tried to fire a, a Magneto. Really? <laughs> yeah. I could just have such a lame arch nemesis. Mutant to the future. Mutant to the future. Look at this one. He has webbed toes. Should he be president? <laughs> this is Pete Holmes. Says Pete that? Holmes, yeah. Okay, I got to look him up. H O L M S or um Holmes, I think it's H O L M E S. M E S. All right. I gotta check out. He's on YouTube. Okay. Yep. I said, oh, I'm gonna have a good laugh. I think he fired um I think he fired the Batman. He was he did one where he was like Batman firing everybody in the Justice League and he fired right. the Batman. The Batman. Yeah. <laughs> well that's cool, man. You got <laughs> problems and it's not uh, problems that have popped up uh, cow. Hey hockey. Good see you, hockey. Yeah, oh, hockey, good day, all good day, hockey. Good day. Hey, oh, hockey. Hi, Eric. Hey, hockey is here. Yay! Hey, hockey, if you want to come on, then I'll put the link in the chat again. Hey, why not? Cool. Uh -huh. I thought no, it's just, no, it's Pete Holmes. Is it Pete Holmes? Yeah, he had, oh. he had a show right after Conan for about two seasons. Oh, okay, it was, it was funnier than that. What's her name? That YouTuber that had a had a talk show that wasn't funny at all. Yeah, come on in the chat. If you want, uh, come in the panel if you want to, Hockey. Uh, anyways, now look at John Holmes. <laughs> no, Pete Holmes. <laughs> John Holmes, no thanks. Ew. <laughs> Eric probably didn't hear. I, I know my. I know it's hard for people to understand me, but I said Pete Holmes. <laughs> yeah, Pete Holmes, not John Holmes. God, no. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> He died of AIDS or something. I don't know what. But oh, I like how he insulted Iceman too. He goes, "I'll keep you on speed dial if I need you." Really? <laughs> yes. As the bitch who can make my drink just a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I right, says, "Cheers." I might join. I only have a few minutes. Okay, that's cool. Maybe next time, man. I'll invite you on. That's all right. Yeah, I gotta see this. Do you have like a segment of that you want to share? We can like you know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Screen it. Yeah. I have a little laughs. It was a joke, Tim. Ah, Timbers. Yes, Eric, I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. Uh, I'm a little dumb, too, in certain aspects. So yeah. I... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm going to continue... Uh... I need to get some um, Fembat script going with. Uh, I hired Rich Parada to uh, draw eight pages of Fembat uh, supplement <laughs> for an origin story. Right. No, you don't. <laughs> You're not dumb. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, uh, they develop an eight page Fembat supplemental basically on her origin stuff so yeah gotta get yeah. to that so yeah we got uh we got pete holmes everybody ready yeah hey alder can you hear that no where's the sound oh dang it hold on yeah make sure you have your sound on watch a little bit of pete holmes here so hey Howder, 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 howdy, howdy, everybody. Good seven people here. Nice. Very cool. There we go. Let's I make is what is old. Uh oh. Look out. They didn't bring Iceman. Yes. Man of ice. I'm sorry, is something wrong, Professor? I'm just Trying to figure out what are your powers again? Professor, I, I, I make ice. <laughs> oh, I know. It's laughable. But 
how, okay. I'm just trying to figure out what I can do with a man whose weakness is room temperature. Okay, right, but Professor, the ice that I make is- what, is... cold? Uh-oh, look out, they didn't bring layers. Good thing Ice Man is here. Go inside, get an electric blanket and a hot water bottle. I, I'd like to point out I've been a, a very valuable hey. part of this team. Hey, Ice Man, what's your weakness? Salt, that thing that's everywhere? Kitchens, restaurants, that's your kryptonite. Salt? Kryptonite? Right, marvel. Uh, do you understand that I, I spontaneously... Listen, if I'm ever on a lazy New Orleans porch and it's really balmy and my iced tea starts to get a little, little tepid, I'll call you. You're on speed dial as the bitch who can make my drink a little better. I'm a hero. Right, named Ice Man. That's really creative. He makes ice, call him Ice Man. <clears throat> Why not just call Wolverine Claws Man or Cyclops <laughs> Laser Beams Shooting Out of His Face Man? Did you name yourself? Yeah. Good job. Look, Iceman, if I wanted a useless bald guy standing around the fight not doing anything, I'd, I'd hire Seal. At least he could serenade the battle. I just think that you're not... <laughs> I'd be part of this team. There's so much I can tell you so much. If you look at the experience that I've brought to the team. I think there's a bigger picture here than just me. Baby! To me, you're like a Roman dictionary, also now. There was a nice way to do this. <laughs> Fire, which would kill you. So I can see my Baby, I can make you do again. Okay. It's going to be in my head for about a month, but it was worth it. It's <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't figure out why that didn't uh, last more than two seasons. Oh wow! So he did. He did all these superhero type uh, yep. shorts. Two seasons of it. Wow. Well, he no, he did uh, one season, but he did oh. a bunch of them. Like uh, he fired uh, Gambit. He said, "If oh, I, oh. I'll, <laughs> I'll need you if we find ourselves in in in, 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 in an aisle at a ninety nine cent store." <laughs> When you stand there with the staff, you look like uh, like you're there for Twilight, the book. The book. <laughs> I got to watch that one. Did anyone yeah. ever see the superhero spoofs on the Key of Awesome channel? I never heard of that. Oh, yeah. They had superhero therapy. Oh, okay. I have to write these down, man. Oh, wow. All these different things. Oh, I can figure out why I didn't. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Why? It's hilarious. Oh, uh, no, it's, I, 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 I got, yeah. you got to check them out. It seems like a fun little program. The key of awesome. I want to write that down. Key of awesome. All right. All these notes I'm putting down here. Key of awesome. Key well, of awesome. I had, I, I'd have to say that was probably his stronger sketches. He did have 4 a.m. thoughts, which was kind of funny. Oh, yeah. For, I think a lot of us do. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, cool. I looked that up. YouTube key of awesome. Fun. I have a lot, little live skits. You can actually have a background and stuff. You can have a green screen. Yeah, but anybody could do those ones. If you prepare it well enough, you could do a good job on it. Let's see. Your takes are highly sus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Check out the key of awesome. Robin, are you gay? <laughs> Uh, no, -uh. <laughs> I'm not sus. You're sus. Not sus. It was okay though. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I I got a kick out of it. That's that's kind of funny. It's a bit crazy, crazy kooky stuff on YouTube. Yeah, y'all. Not an hour. Anything you want to promote there, uh, Timothy? Just Melvin one and two special editions on Walmart, Amazon, and Barnes and Noble. 
Oh, really? I, whoa. The website. So how did you actually get a hold of these guys? Critical Blast. Oh, nice. Great. I have, I have, I, I guess I have a, distri I, have, I have a distribution deal. Nice. I gotta get with Critical Blast on my Fembot distribution once I uh, get the campaign rolling. I'm so you can get it through their websites. Cool. That's one step towards getting it in a in, in an actual store. That's great, man. Yeah, lots of more indie comics, a lot more CG comics out there, and the open wild for people to purchase and enjoy, man. Oh, yeah. Promote hockey. He needs it so badly. Hockey. He's, yes. He's begging for it. Absolutely, hockey. What do you have to promote, my friend? Yeah, we'll go in. Uh, it's hot. I, I need a wrench. Hockey, by the way. Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, good gosh. Someone, uh, let me tap in something so I can actually. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, here we go. Oh shoot! Where's my type? Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let me go in and wrench hockey. Hockey. I thought I've. I thought I've modded. No. Nope. Now he has a wrench. Da, 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 da. Promote what you want, hockey. Amen. Da, 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 da. Curiosities and oddities. Emporium. The dress. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, go and put out the link there, hockey. Yes. Eric says, be like Timothy and piss off everyone. Be a man. Howder. Yes, Indiegogo. Hey, thanks, Howder, for the link there. Cool. Yes, you get to pick up uh you get pick up Curiosity and Oddities, Emporium. And there you go. Three weeks until launch, by the way. Oh, so I suppose there's a sign up page, right, Hockey? I think there is. So yeah, everyone uh, go to his uh, sign up page, and I believe that is the sign up page for that. <clears throat> Come out in three weeks, so that's that marks. Let's see. Oh, I did sign up. Excellent, cool. Yes, you got it, man. Absolutely. So three weeks. Today is the sixth. So is it going to be on the tw what day is it launching? Hockey is it on Saturday or Sunday? I suppose Sunday the 28th. Is that when you're launching? Gay, not gay. <laughs> that is the question. All right. Oh, 26 for me. Okay. So April 26th, everybody. You'll be able to, to, right now you can sign up for Hockey's Indiegogo Project, Curiosities and Oddities Emporium. There's the link right there to sign up. And I believe... You can go on Indiegogo, and uh, once that's once that's launched, you could go on there and purchase that book. Fantastic, very cool, man. Let's see, hockey does live in the future, Eric. You're right. As Shadow says, design and tell stories about dresses like hockey. Be a man. Be a man. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, what kind of dress do you wear? Well, it's only a, a large because I'm a man. I don't have boobs like women do, but they can fill out that dress. Indeed. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, very nice of you, Holder. Thank you. People who sign up get a free bookmark on the physical copy of the book. Amen. That, I bet Hockey signed up with Critical Blast, right, Hockey? I think a lot of people are. It's smart to do that. I am going to do that too once I get my Fembat campaign. Um, well, you my, know, I, I'm actually getting a Zen Odysseus number one from the printers Friday. And I figure if anybody buys Melvin one and shows me that they bought it plus mm -hmm. an address, I'll send them a free book. Really? Of Zed the Odysseus? Zed and Odysseus. Zed and Odysseus number one. Oh, cool. Man. Created and written by me and drawn by Rob Ewing. Oh, nice. Now, Rob Ewing is really getting around pretty well in the old indie world. 
Yep. Very cool. Shadowhawk says, always got to check that undercarriage. Yeah, I know, right? You stay away from my undercarriage. <laughs> critical Blast Rip. Yeah, Critical Blast is greater than Rip is in. Rip is in. Oh. <laughs> Rip is in. Whatever, Eric. Ugh. All right, keep us updated about Finbat and the Creep. Dang, I know. Tell you what, you can uh, right here. Up, uh, chill, chill time. Thanks to Eric and Void. Yes, shill coming in. Incoming shill. A copy of Fembat and the Creep. You know, you get uh, get good twelve. Look at that Ashcan goodness. Ashcan goodness here. That's the creep. From, and you get, so you get six pages of Fembat, and on the opposite side, you get. Oh, of course, the insert page. Rob Ewing did this, by the way. Pencils. I inked over it. Oh, shiznit. it? Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. This will be the only copy you'll find this artwork in. Um, so get um, it. Don't be so a putz. That's right. Get this. <coughs> Two for twelve dollars, by the way. Two for Two twelve. For 12. Two for what? twelve. Includes postage. So yeah, you get a great deal. This is an April deal. Apex Comics approved. And then in May he'll send you some flowers because you know. Oh, they might die when they get to. to yeah, yeah, they box. they won't be alive when they get to you, but. No, you'll, you'll right. get them. Thanks, Hockey. From Apex. Versus Jane Mansfield. <laughs> wow, that would be a pass battle, wouldn't it not? Uh, Jane Mansfield. They would actually have to uh, attach her severed head, head to her body. She'll have to be like a zombie or something. Uh, zombie Mansfield. Zombie Mansfield, indeed. Yeah. I have no idea who Jane Mansfield is. Jane Mansfield. Yes, married Jane to. Mansfield. Uh, M Mickey Hargate, uh, Mariska Hargate from uh, Law and Order. That's her oh, dad, her mom and okay. dad, James Mansfield and Mickey Hargate. Yep. Yeah. So that's the that's the the spawn of those two wonderful uh, people. Shadow says you don't send flowers anymore. He, he uh, no. Oh no! Oh yeah. no! <laughs> that's only, oh okay. What? Oh, okay. Well, oh yeah. Well, she could go back in time and hang out with Jane Mansfield. Yeah, that's it. You know, without her head being cut off by an accident. But yeah, this will be a pre, pre, uh, pre, pre tragic uh, meetup with Fembat, Jane Mansfield, and Fembat. There you go. She has some Tigo big bitties. Yeah, she did, man. Jane Mansfield from like the early '60s, I think she came about. Or late 50s, early 60s. Right around, um, I think, during uh, Marilyn Monroe, who passed away around 1962, I think. And Mansfield came along, I think, around the late 50s, early 60s. And she was, I think she passed on, oh, was it? I think it was 1967 she passed away. But Eric, dirty boy, I know, right? Tiggo bitties, Tiggo bitties. Da, 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 da. Well, yes, folks, uh, we're going to have to wrap it up here. And here you go. Check out uh, Hockey's Indiegogo uh, sign-up page. Do that. And, of course, you can go to, uh, if you want to purchase a, we'll go up to the very top, tippy top of the chat here. Well, Maybe, maybe before you go, we could take a look at this. 50 Years of Wolverine, there's a link for that too, guys. On PayPal here. We're going to take a look at that. Melvin! Yep, you can get it on Amazon, as you can see. Oh, cool, man. Yep. Got that beautiful Dillard cover. The Dillard cover of Melvin, that's cool. There yep. he is. Yep. It looks it's, like a it's a wraparound cover, so that goes. that's, that's back in front cover. Ah, that's cool. And then, of course, let's go to while we're at it. And honestly, this is be this is better than the original cover. Oh, it's noticed. good. Yeah. So, Sid Tellis did this, or is it Rob? Rob. Rob Ewing. It's the great work of Rob Ewing. Who did the lettering? Uh, lettering? Um. Well, it's basically the, the, basically you just. Re uh, I think he did the the, the lettering for the replay replaced pages looks good man oh rob did oh yep. man that's good job rob oh yeah man. Bass pu publishing there yeah right 
There you go. Absolutely. Yeah. Jay Mansfield. I knew I misspelled her name. Dang it. Yeah. J A Y N E. Yeah. Mansfield. Yeah. That's totally. Yeah. It looks good, man. So, how many orders have you had so far? Is it um, kind of about 12, I think, from um, April 1st to the 4th? We had like 12 copies of Melvin 2 Bot. Well, good, man. Congrats. That's cool. Devil Flyer. Like, guys, yeah, get your Devil Flyer. Uh, Devil Flyer magazine. Oh, yeah, get oh, it. Oh, worth it. Get it. Buy it today. Thank you, Alder. Show Rex some love. Thank you all your party people. Yes, it, we actually promoted Rex tonight. So, yeah, there you go. Melvin is awesome. Got one and two special edition. Great work. Oh, see? You get some Thank accolades. you, Shadow. Appreciate Very it. Nice. Hi, Eric. Yeah. Well, thanks, everyone, for coming on here. Thank you to the marvelous, mighty chat and our wonderful audience here. Let's go back to where the chat you goes. Beautiful bastards, you every single you one of you. Beautiful bastards, you. We love you all. Eric and Boyd, Tammy Olson, Fizzfop. Thank you, Fizzfop One. I'd also like to thank Shadowhawk. Thank you for coming in. And thank you. We got oh, Gable Penny Shot. Hey, hey, hey. And thank don't forget you. hockey. And of course, we got hockey. Yes, good day. Yes, good day, everybody. Anyone else coming? Oh, of course, we got Halder. Can't forget Halder. Thank you for coming in here. And I'm sure maybe some other people may have showed up or not. There's lots of live streaming going on tonight on the YouTube universe. Yes, yes, folks. So thank you. What happened to Rex anyway? I don't know. <laughs> he had the link. Um, and maybe next time Rex will, will show up. He's probably has some things to do. Good night, all. Good night. Hail, everybody. Hail, CG. Hail, everyone. God bless everyone. Uh, take care. Please. Until the next video and the next live stream.